All right, for this example, we're asked to find the acceleration of the motion given by this uh, position vector, r of t equals cosine t plus t sine t times i plus sine t minus t cosine t times j. And we're asked to do that without actually finding uh, t and n, our unit tangent vector and unit normal vector. In other words, we're just asked to find the acceleration in terms of those two unit vectors uh, using this formula here that the acceleration is equal to the tangential component of acceleration times the unit tangent vector plus the normal component of acceleration times the unit normal vector. So what's happening here is we've got our position vector r and over time that's tracing out this path of motion here. And at any point along that path of motion, you're going to have this unit tangent vector uh, going off tangent to this path and the unit normal vector that's going uh, uh, orthogonal or normal or perpendicular to this, to this tangent vector. And what we're saying here is that um, acceleration can be described by uh, taking this unit tangent vector and multiplying it by some scalar and taking this unit normal vector and multiplying it by some scalar and then adding those two vectors together to get our acceleration vector. All right, so uh, to find this, the tangential component of acceleration, we're first going to need to find the velocity vector. Uh, so the velocity vector is going to be equal to the derivative of r. So uh, that's going to be negative sine t uh, plus sine t, uh, let's see, minus, no, plus uh, t cosine t, and all of that times i, plus uh, cosine t, uh, let's see, minus cosine t, plus t sine of t times j. Um, and notice here that we've got a negative t, sine t and a sine t, a cosine t minus cosine t. So those are going to add to zero. And our velocity vector is just going to be equal to uh, t cosine t times i plus t sine t times j. All right. Now, um, what we need is the, the magnitude of this velo velocity vector, um, which is going to be equal to the square root of t squared cosine squared t plus t squared sine squared t, just uh, these components squared and added together, um, and then the, the uh, square root of that. Um, so notice here, if we factored out a t squared, we'd get t squared times cosine squared plus sine squared, which is 1. So this is just the, the square root of t squared, which is t. All right, now um, we get to find our component. a sub t is equal to the derivative with respect to t of the, uh, the magnitude of the velocity vector, which we found to be t. So this is just uh, d dt of t, which is just 1. And so our, our scalar component of acceleration, our tangent scalar component of acceleration is just 1. So we, let's go ahead and just fill that in. We'll, put, we'll just leave that there. Um, and now let's go back and find our, our, our normal component of acceleration. All right, to find the normal component of acceleration, we need to find uh, the acceleration vector, which is the second derivative of our position vector. So let's, let's put our v back up here. We said that was t uh, cosine t times i plus uh, t sine t times j. And now let's take the derivative of that. That's going to give us our acceleration vector. Uh, so that's going to be 
cosine t minus t sine t times i plus uh, sine t uh, plus t cosine t j. And now we need to find uh, the acceleration, the, the magnitude of the acceleration vector squared, because uh, that's going to uh, fit into our um, normal component, a sub n. And, uh, and so that's going to be uh, just this squared plus this squared. All right, so, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're, it's going to be cosine t minus t sine t squared plus uh, sine t plus t cosine t squared. All right, let me give myself some room here. That's going to be equal to, uh, if we foil this out, that's going to be cosine squared t minus 2t cosine t sine t uh, plus t squared sine squared t uh, plus sine squared t uh, plus 2t cosine t sine t plus t squared cosine squared t. All right, and now notice that we've got a negative 2t cosine t sine t and a 2t cosine t sine t. Those are going to add to zero. And we've got a cosine squared t plus a sine squared t. That's going to be a 1. And then we've got a t squared sine squared t plus t squared cosine squared t. Factor out the t squared. The sine squared plus cosine squared is going to be 1. So this is plus t squared. So that's our, the uh, acceleration, the magnitude of the acceleration vector squared. Um, and so now we're ready to find the, um, the normal component of acceleration. It's going to be equal to the square root of this, the magnitude of the acceleration vector squared, which is 1 plus t squared. Um, let's see, oh, minus, so minus the, uh, our a sub t, which is just 1 squared, and so this is just going to be the square root of t squared, which is t. So our normal component um, of acceleration is going to be t. So we can come back up here and we can erase this and, and plug in our normal component, which is t. And so this is our acceleration vector in terms of our unit tangent vector and our unit normal vector.